July 2020 was a long time ago. You know, what have we been doing uh, since then? You know, the European Commission and the United States have been working towards a new framework. There was the Safe Harbor Framework. Court came in, Trump's one, knocked it down. The EU Commission and the US said, well, we need a new framework. Let's put up Privacy Shield. And the court came in, knocked it down. So the European Commission and the US are trying to get it right this time because honestly, Max Schrems is just going to come along and, and file a complaint as soon as something new is in place. Yeah, so, I think we're all worried about Schrems free, aren't we, with any further international agreement? And I think but they got as far Biden as um, introducing one in principle. So there is there is the um, transatlantic data privacy framework that was released in March. That's going to form the basis of the decision. It really, for from my company perspective, it doesn't change anything. There's no there's no change to the principles that underpin um, the framework. So that's good news. You know, everything you were doing for Privacy Shield, you're going to be able to do for this transatlantic data protection framework. But what's taking so long is that they need to now enshrine that in an executive order or some kind of legislative measure. And we all expected Biden to do that back in June. But I think with the ADPPA and um, you know Roe versus Wade being overturned, everything in the privacy landscape in the United States was shifting a bit. People were kind of not sure where location privacy was gonna go, where they wanted to go with a federal law. And it kind of got a little bit pushed to the back burner. So hopefully kind of this fall, we'll be a little less distracted. We can get that executive order because once that executive order is in place, we still need to take that to the European Commission for the basis of an adequacy decision. 